Alright guys, welcome back. We are just uh, getting everybody set and everything ready for the next game, which is between the Templars and Antares Scorpions. Uh, as usual, as all these matches in the first round, they will be 720 tons on Skirmish on Forest Colony. Uh, and I have to say, I'm looking forward to this match. Uh, these are two teams that uh, I don't necessarily know any of the players very well but I know of the teams, so it's always nice when it's teams that I know. Uh, one of the most fun parts about this tournament for me is getting to know all of these new teams and seeing them perform, because it's always nice to build up those storylines and see who's doing well. So, uh, yep, we're just waiting on confirmation. Sounds like both teams are getting ready, getting into a lobby, getting set, uh, putting, all of their, putting all of their doodads in their mechs, painting them pretty colors. I'm sure they're drinking some Indeed. coffee, just like me. Coffee, some kind of caffeine. I'm drinking, I'm on my third water because I've had enough caffeine, but yes. Yep, anyway, I am. Got I'm chugging of... some coffee. Excellent. Gotta love the coffee. We've got over 700 people again. We've had a great turnout today. We want to thank you all for showing up, especially on the weekends. We know that uh, maybe for some of you that's the only time to get out, but we appreciate it. Uh, this is, of course, the MWO Tournament Series First Engagement Beta, and uh, this is Darren with NGNG, and Phil, he's here as well. And we're also joined by Cyril Thrax and Raffle Waffle doing the in-game commentating. Want to say thank you to everyone, including those two, for all the help. It's been monumental. I mean, basically, this has just been such a fun day because of these people that have helped out, including Farpa Noodle. Thank you, dude. Um, we did a giveaway last match, and we'll have some more tonight. Don't forget to follow down below on uh, the Twitch page here. If you press the follow button, then you'll get the emails usually late but uh anyway they still send them out some people get them on time i guess but anyway you'll know when we're going live with uh these matches as well as monday through friday we do live streaming here as well as on ngng tv um we've had five matches today with the winners being russian clan wolf russian jade falcons fallen 13 i'm just gonna say the fighting monks 12 G donegal guards and upcoming we've got templars versus Antares scorpions so some great matches i mean this I anticipated it being fun, I anticipated a decent turnout, but this has, so far for me, been better than what I anticipated. Yeah, it's uh, it's a blast. The The overlay is working terrifically. That's a super cool tool that you guys uh, got. Thanks again to uh, Farp for making it. Uh, I'm having a blast with this. This is really fun. Thank you for inviting Siri and I on. We're, uh, we're really enjoying this. We've been wanted to do stuff like this for a long time, so... Well, we couldn't have done it without you guys. <laughs> it's Thank a blast. You. It's definitely easy to be able to work the camera and the, the stream system and then have someone else, you know, say words and stuff. That's that's always nice. So you don't have to do like three things at once. So, uh, yeah, expect this type of setup from here on out, guys. And uh, again, we're going to be uh, working with uh, PGI and updating the uh, spectator camera as well as uh, I'm sure we'll be sitting down with FARP asking for a few things. I've had a few people mention... Uh, you know, on the be right back screen, having like an updated bracket, maybe, uh, you know. So it looks like we are ready, so I'm going to go shut up, and Raffle, you got it. Well, I think they're just getting ready. I don't think they're actually, like, launching yet, so. But thank you. I appreciate it. I will uh, I will take over, indeed, once we are in the match. Um, so, yeah. Siri, you got anything going into this one? Um... Do you think we're going to see from Templars an assault style with lights, or are we going to see a heavy medium light style? Personally, I hope they bring atlases. Uh, that's always like in my mind what I remember Templars for, but I honestly don't know. Uh, I have I have not. Uh, we've been doing you know private matches so much lately that I haven't run into many people in the queue in a long time, so I don't know what the their current builds are, but. I would hope. I like I like the big assault play. It's fun to watch for me at least. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily the most efficient thing. It might be on a smaller map like this, so we'll have to see. One of the interesting things that I've noticed is we've seen a huge variation from the the lower side of the map, so the water spawn side, but from the uh, from Radio Tower Spawn, most teams, with the exception of the game between Fighting Monks and, uh, uh, I'm blanking, Theory, help. Who else was in that game? In the water, you mean? Or, oh, no, um, Hardcore. It was Fighting Monks versus, uh, Hardcore. 
Hardcore. Oh, wow. Sorry, guys. It's been a long day. Uh, I wasn't sure if you meant who else pushed water or who else no, rotated no. with them. Uh, that was, I think, one of the few games that we've seen uh, an initial push anywhere but Radio Tower. I apologies. apologize for, uh, you know, being terrible at remembering things. It's not like you've been doing this for hours, you know. Uh, not to mention that I'm, I'm studying in between games. These 10-minute breaks are uh, pull out your accounting notes and make sure you got your stuff ready for your finals. 4.0 GPA, go home. Oh, God, I wish. <laughs> Do too many things for that. All right, looks like they're uh, getting into the match. Got a couple minutes left here, and then we'll uh, get some mech warrior action. I believe after this we have a couple more games fairly back-to-back, -back, right? This and then one more? I believe that wrong. is the case. Let me look up which one that is. Yeah, so we've got Templars we versus Antares. Death Meta Band. Yep. Death Meta Band versus Sky Rangers Team 1. Both of these are teams I know. Sky Rangers Team 1. Well, that's the Sky Rangers. And they have been working pretty hard lately uh, to step up their game. And Death Meta Band is actually a potpourri of players from the Merkstar server headed up by Carpenter from QQ. Yeah, that's going to be a fun game. Um, I've been joking that it's it's a lot easier to cast when I know the players on each team, so I'm trying to do my best to get to know who everyone is. That way I can uh, more adequately distinguish which teams are which quickly. And it sounds like... Alright, they are ready, so we're going to be dropping in here in just a second. Three. Do you want to? Uh, do you want to pick one? Want to bet? Not yet. <laughs> That's not fair. You'd be like, not yet. You're gonna wait till the game has started. No, I meant not at this stage. Later on in the tournament, I will. <laughs> Gotta have some anticipation build up. You can't just start betting everything away. Then you have a gambling problem. Do you have a gambling problem? No. Okay. Good. I mean, I hope I don't. Just waiting on confirmation. Sorry about this, guys. While we wait on that, I'm just going to go through the schedule for later tonight. After the game between Death Meta Band and the Sky Rangers, there is about a hour and a half, hour 45, and we'll be bringing you Skullberg versus Direwolves at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, followed up by Black Star Alliance versus Team 007, two very experienced teams there. 10.30 p.m. Smoke Adders versus Black Sheep Merc Corps. I know Gauss Dragon's been asking after that one. And at 11 p.m., FWLM, that's the Free World's Merc League, Free World League of Merc acronyms, MGA Don't worry, versus Death Knights. And none of that matters because we're launching the game right now. All right. Loading in on Forest Colony. And just as a reminder, this is 720 tons, skirmish mode, Forest Colony 12v12. Alrighty, so starting off on the lower side, we have... I'm just looking around making sure I've got everybody in. So we have the Templars spawning radio side, and we have uh, Antari Scorpion spawning uh, lower water side. So it looks like Templars are actually moving out towards water. They're not going to really go for radio tower. They've brought uh, Dragon Slayers by the look of it. Um, Quite a few Dragon Slayers. Uh, there's actually a light skirmish going down instantly on the edge of the boat in D3. Uh, Templars and Atari Scorpions both sent their lights there, and we see uh, fire starters, and uh, that's about it actually from Antares in terms of lights, whereas it looks like Templars have brought some spiders and, in fact, Jenners. Uh, Antares is moving up. They are pushing past. Uh, 
arch and moving up towards radio tower it looks like we're going to have another one of those switching situations where uh, templars is moving down through the water around the boat and up past uh, the culverts and in fact yes antares antares is actually very spread out what we're we gonna say um i think it's possible you have the teams backward do i really mongo bongo is templars isn't he no he's oh Antares. god i'm an idiot this is what happens when I don't have enough time. Sorry. Okay, scratch that. Verse it. Templars are in fact moving uh, counterclockwise around towards the water area, whereas Antares Scorpions is move are moving up from water towards the land area near the culverts. Uh, most of their mechs are holding in the back here, trying to get shots on Templars as they move through water. Templars are uh, kind of spread out in a little bit of a line here, but moving uh, up past boat. Uh, this is interesting because you see the light mechs from both teams are skirmishing at the edge of the water, and the heavy mechs are uh, kind of playing their own game. Lots of already going down from each side. One thing to note is, I think Templars actually has a mix of hard snipers with like ERPPC Gauss, but also some brawlers in the Mermets and the Shadowhawks. So they have a a mixed style going. Whereas I think Antares is more of a mid-range marksmanship type instead of a pure hard sniper or pure brawler. Yep, and it looks like uh, Antares is now, they're playing a very tight game of Ring Around the Rosie. Uh, Antares and Templars both have, oh no, second kill goes down. Uh, one kill for Antares, two kills for Templars. Uh, Antares is now moving uh, out into the water, holding behind the rock, whereas Templars have pushed out from the culvert area and are trying to get uh, a little bit closer. Big already is going down from both teams, and the score is uh, even at two kills. Oh no, third kill goes down. Uh, Antares is up by one. So we're seeing a pretty big brawl out in the water here. Uh, that circula that circling motion has uh, tightened, and now both teams are fighting out in the water. Uh, a few dead mechs litter the shore, which you can still see on the overlay, of course. Uh, current score is four kills to five. This is a very close game. Uh, Antares is actually up now uh, with six kills to Templars four. Uh, big brawl goes out. It looks like... Uh, Templars does seem to have uh, a lot of their heavier mechs down. Uh, both of their stalkers are still up though, so those are capable of putting out a lot of damage. The question is, do they still have weapons being stalkers? That's a good point. Let's uh, go into first person and check that out. Just judging by their percentages, I'm gonna say no. Yeah, we see uh, the spiders from Dragon Slayers, however, for Tares, uh, one of them sitting in the back over Rude, is actually at almost full health, and he's putting a lot of damage down on the team. Uh, and Tares are up seven kills to six, so this is a very close game and a terrific brawl. Uh, over Rude overheats in the water. Uh, another Dragon Slayer uh, from Antares is almost down, sitting in the water. Seven kills to eight, still in fa eight to nine. And it looks like uh, Templars is down to one mech, just a fire starter, running around. Uh, so it looks like Antares is going to take this match. Yeah, 5 Dawn Knight on the Antares Scorpion side is completely fresh in the Jenner, and it's no problem for him to hunt down and kill that Ember. That was a good close game, as some oh, would say. Sorry about that uh, mix-up at the beginning there, everyone. Someday, someday I'll get it right. We'll have him fixed. By the yep. finals, hopefully. <laughs> uh, remaining mechs for Antares at the end of that match were uh, a Dragon Slayer, two Dragon Slayers actually, and uh, a Jenner. They ran super light. Uh, six Dragon Slayers, two Spiders, two Jenners, uh, a Cicada, and a Cataphract. So they had a lot of Assault mechs. It's in a very uh, threatening build. Good match. Yeah, and that's the, that's the sort of build I meant when you have a very polarized assault and light uh, composition is you trade off the tonnage, skip the mid weight entirely, and then just buff it up to the extremes. And it makes both your light and your heavy group very powerful. And if you can shield the weaknesses of each, then it's going to go pretty well for you.